Just, just stand up. Okay, my turn. Okay. I was really impressed by his friends. Thank that, you. That, that row of masters. Yep. One of which, I had never seen him actually move. And he's, of course, the famous actor who fought Bruce Lee and Into Dragon. Yes, Master Shekin. Mark. And he can move! <laughs> and, and the movie was so... Because in Into Dragon, he's like doing, you know, I'm surprised. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... The, those relationships, they continue. I mean, I mean many of them probably passed on, but how many... Uh, yeah, my father has... Was, you know, like we mentioned in the film, one of the first to really start bringing over masters from China and Hong Kong. And he really felt strongly about spreading not just Wallam, all arts. Like, we invite all systems to come to our shows. Actually, Pedro's here. He comes to our shows. We, we, we're very inclusive. Pedro. So we, we like to invite everyone out. And, uh, I see a lot of, a lot of old friends and family that I'm, I'm overwhelmed. And on behalf of my father, we thank, you know, again, all of our Kung Fu family for coming out. But he keeps in touch with everyone. When it's Christmas time, you know, he's got cards still. I mean, physical cards that you mail. I don't know. People still do that, but he, he writes everybody and emails them. And um, Master Shekin, we go back whenever we went back to Hong Kong before he recently passed away. We would always go and visit him and um, just sit with him and drink tea. And he was, uh, it was great because he actually would share a lot of old stories with us, which I do have uh, footage of, but it's not for release or anything. But he's a very, he's kept his friendships um, just lifelong, you know, lifelong what was friends. That, what was his style? Um, he did some praying mantis. He kind of had, um, I think that he had some northern influences, but, you know, since he went into the film industry, he right. kind of yeah. dabbled in quite a bit. But he did a lot of tonglong. He did a lot of praying mantis. So, yeah. And, and your father's very spiritual. The, the, the scene that, one of the scenes, one of the many scenes that touched me was the altar of all his ancestors. The pizza. He said he, he swam and he, he made a vow. To, and that's just ah, I mean that's something that's part of the tradition that hasn't necessarily survived. But it's such a wonderful thing to to keep that because he understands if you know anybody spiritually uh, sensitive knows that it's an unbroken chain that the ancestors are still with us, helping us along. And him <laughs> acknowledging that was just very very moving. Yeah, he. It, it's it's not fabricated. I mean, he is literally there every day at the crack of dawn, like 6 a.m., 5.30, sometimes 7, like I said. But he's there every day, unless we're out of the country. He, um, he lives close by, but he makes it a point to go there. Even on Christmas, on holidays, we don't really close that often. He doesn't believe in closing the temple doors. He believes in keeping them open. But he is there every day to Bison, which is lighting the incense to pay homage to his ancestors, because he really does believe that having those beliefs and thanking them and being appreciative of everything he has today is that leads him to continuous success. So um, he definitely had a very long journey and continues that journey, but he is, is appreciative and thankful and grateful every day. Yes, yeah, just stand up. Uh, two questions. Uh, sure. When did your dad become a U.S. citizen? And what differentiates, let's say, a martial arts school from the martial arts temple? Okay, um, I actually don't know the exact year he became a citizen. Obviously, in 1977, um, he got married. So, it, there, we didn't have time to include everything in the movie, but there's some cute green, green card stories because, you know, they do the where they separate the, the husband and wife and ask questions. And so, there was a bit of a process. But then it was like, yeah, it was around that time. He pretty much wanted to become an American citizen. He wanted to be here in America, represent America, and be a part of, you know, the American dream. So he did that almost immediately. I think um, Sifu Bob Rosen is here from Massachusetts and was around at that time. It's one year before I was born. So, um, And the second question is the difference between a school versus a temple. Was that your question? Um, for us, we call the temple, it's, it's, it's not religious in terms of like a Buddhist temple, but it's a martial arts temple named after the temple in China where Grandmaster Lee Quan Chan studied. So it's um, there in honor of that, and there is only one Walam temple. Uh, it is the headquarters for all of the Walam branches and schools, and so we preserve that name. However, all of the martial arts schools um, that are open, I'm sure, also carry along you know, their tradition. So, but we name ours the Walam temple after the one in China. 
Yes, yeah, to stand up. Can you talk about the awards that you won for your film, Mimi? <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> We've been very and, and, fortunate. And she has a great Facebook page. Please go there and like the page. <laughs> yes, please, please, please uh, like our page. Follow us. Uh, I'm very, very new to social media. Uh, so but very good at it. Was, I just started last year because of this film. So, But it's been um, kind of a whirlwind. We've been invited to... Um, several film festivals that we started last fall. I believe our first one was in September. And um, we've actually won an award at every single film festival that we've played at. So we're very proud. <laughs> and it's, it's just been from, you know, best documentary to historical documentary. We've been in some doc fests. And it's just, it's been quite an honor. This is actually my first feature film, my first film, really, that I've done, so I'm, I'm very pleased with the results. <laughs> and hopefully you are all entertained, because that was really the main goal. <laughs> uh, I definitely enjoy the film making process, I enjoy uh, special interest on, like, you know, human interest. I, I like to shed light on characters that, you know, a lot, of course, everyone in the martial arts community knows about my father, but a lot of other people don't, and I think they would find it interesting. So I do plan to um, make future films, but this one has got me quite, quite, quite busy, so probably for not another year, and it, it takes a lot of work. Uh, <laughs> a documentary takes a lot more work than uh, one would realize, so it's, it's pretty involved, but because this one's so personal to me, it probably was, it, I, I had to draw the line, I had to just end, otherwise I could be editing, and I could be looking through pictures and making choices forever. I mean, even now when I sit and watch it, I'm like, oh, I would change, the, you know, like, you, it's, it's an endless process, but that's, but that's kind of the beauty of it. You stop where you feel, this is my art and this is what I've done, and as you move on, you know, you look back and you just kind of take that experience with you for future projects. So, but yeah, I did enjoy it, and um, enjoy is a is a is a loose term. <laughs> it's like a, a, it's like kung fu, you know. It's hard work, but it's it's rewarding in the end. So, um, so I will definitely try to do some more future projects. Any other you don't have, I have one. I we hand. don't. I saw a couple hands. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Just want to ask you, uh, are you going to do an Oscar winning movie one of these days? <laughs> well, that's not up to me to do the Oscar winning movie. <laughs> that's up to the Oscars. But, you know, hopefully as I, I progress and I learn more as I go, um, I'm kind of self-taught. I actually did not go to film school, so this is just something that I kind of, I used to do a little bit of, you know, acting and stunt work, and so I kind of learned to do my own reels and just dabbled, and so I'm learning as I go. So it's, it's, it's like Kung Fu, you never stop learning. So, so uh, I was like waiting for someone to ask this question, but tell me what does the acting stunt work for? <laughs> I know what you're referring uh, to. <laughs> you guys don't know? <laughs> all right, tell it. So, <laughs> uh, we are in Orlando, Florida, which is the home of Mickey Mouse and Disney World, and um, when they were doing the feature film, Mulan, the animated feature, we do a lot of performances for Disney and we have kind of a, a, a close relationship. And so they brought us into the animators for performance. And at that time, just to kind of give them a feel for what China is and what the arts are like, and they were going to have Kung Fu in the movie. And at the time, they were still looking for a model and inspiration for the model. And then they ended up choosing me as the model for Mulan. Yeah. That's my start. Humble, humble, humble. Disney, you know, they, they make you immortal, so it's quite, it's, it's been nice, but, you know, that was actually probably one of their last um, hand animation before they moved into CGI, so, and the only one they did mostly in Florida. Any other questions? My turn now. Okay. Technical question. Uh oh. I'm looking around the room, I see uh, Seven Star Mantis, I see Southern Mantis. <laughs> Tell me the difference between Wallam Mantis and the other Mantis systems that are... Uh, well, in I, I can't really get into all of, of their styles, but um, all traditional arts are good, all martial arts are good, I, even um, non-Chinese arts. I always encourage anyone when they ask me, they say, oh, you know, my child Liberal. lives in, okay. you know, yeah. you know, whatever state, do you have Wallam? I say, no, but go and look at the schools, there's a lot of great martial arts out there. So, But for us, the Wallam, Tom Tween, Northern Korean Mantis is kind of a, 
a mix of Grandmaster Lee Kuan Chan's family style, which is the Tom Tui, which is why we have a lot of the acrobatic movements and the sweeps and the, and all the jumps. And, um, and then of course the Northern Mantis or, or the, that he learned um, from the Wallen Temple. <coughs> so it's kind of a mixture, but for us, we do have a lot more, I think, um, acrobatic type movements versus just the hand movements. And with us, as you get higher into um, the system, there's more of the Mantis influence. Like it, it kind of, there's different variances and different weapons and things like that, but. <laughs> you guys okay with that? <laughs> okay. Any other questions about the film? Yes, yes. Yes. Um, you have won your Oscar from the Academy, but you did win your Oscar from Agramante. Yes. So, <laughs> tell me about the story. Did you have the story? Did you, I know that Oscar helped you with the writing of the story. Did you guys have that all in your mind clear how it was going to be laid out before you started, or did you? <laughs> this is actually a fellow filmmaker, a wonderful filmmaker, Casey. She, uh, I met her at a Central Florida Film Festival, and uh, she's asking about the the main Oscar there's to win, which is my husband and producer Oscar Agramonte, who's here today. Um, who I often credit for the, those of you who have like a spouse that are deeply involved in any project know that without the support. It just doesn't get done, you know. I mean, he was literally neglected for about a year because I was staring at a computer screen for that year. And but at the same time, he was also by my side at four o'clock in the morning when we were rewriting and we were redoing the the narration. Or we were making choices, and he was extraordinarily supportive. But um, I had no idea how it was going to go in terms of the story because there is so much. Everyone asked what the hardest part about the film was. And for me, it was literally deciding what to not include because his life is so colorful and variant and he has so much, so many stories. I say it could be like a 12 hour mini series and probably still not enough, but um, it was, it definitely started to come together as we finally sat down and with Oscar's help and a couple of my other writers, it, it, it came together. And so hopefully it was compelling.